Hello y'all. Welcome to part 15 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 14 we defeated the Third International Faction and so right now we're just doing stuff in our focus tree. At this moment we are trying to complete the focus develop a new form of art. So we're going to develop a new form of art and for some reason this focus will give us nuclear bombs, which I'm not complaining, but that's just what's going to happen when that's done. And so we have some divisions here. we got to move around two new divisions, send them to the 11th Army, which we need to probably break down into smaller forces and spread them out across national members, such as Venezuela and Norway. So take one force here. We don't really even, we don't really even have commanders for these armies, but that's what we have to do. And so let's get a new commander here. One general for this guy, well, for this force here, and just send them up to Norway. They're going to go up to Norway and watch the Swedish border. That is their objective. Just watch this area here. So they'll go up there. How many divisions is that? That's 11. Let's give them a few more troops in the 11th Army. We're almost done. Nearly done there. A couple more divisions. Yeah, that's done. That's all the divisions they need. They're at their max capacity now, more or less. And so send them up there and give them an order to move into Sweden in the future if we go to war with the Swedes. And so that's set up. They'll be ready to go. Let's also move some divisions here. These are garrison troops. Give them to the 4th the Army, to the 4th Army, who specializes in just garrison, garrison everything we captured. And so they'll guard any coastlines of any of the places we control. Let's give them more orders. They also guard ports and victory points. Guard England, that's what I gotta do now. And that's gonna be a huge army when this playthrough is said and done. I won't be surprised if we have more than a thousand divisions in that one group. So guard this area here. Guard these islands. Scap a flow here. Guard Iceland. Guard everything, more or less, that we control. That's all you have to do. Just make sure we don't have any naval invasions or anything like that. And also send some of these divisions to the Caribbean and to Jamaica, which we got from the West Indies Union, I believe, also into Venezuela, who was part of the Third International Faction. Tons of islands here also. They got their work cut out for them, honestly. So keep sending, sending these divisions off to defend places. That is done. And also send a few of these troops probably into Argentina and Chile, because we took Chile when they lost alongside the rest of the Third International. And so they'll guard these ports down here, hopefully. That's going to be done now, and that defense group will need a minimum, that defense, well, that garrison army will need a minimum of 366 divisions. Let's actually stop guarding victory points, and now they'll just guard the coastline and ports. That's going to be done with them. And we have a bunch of those civilian factories here. Let's start constructing more military factories. We have cores on every state in the world, so we're pretty overpowered in that regard. And let's just get max capacity military factories everywhere we can get them. Just build nothing but military factories. There's some more infantry here. Send them to the 11th Army. Take more of the 11th Army and establish the 12th, not the 13th Army. That's going to be done. And what's even... Oh, those are garrison troops. Send them back to where they were supposed to be. Go back to the 4th Army with them. That's done. So let's take these infantry here. We got from the third, well, the 13th Army. They won't have no commander for now, but they're gonna have the color of green and just send them off to South America. And they'll watch the border with, say, Brazil. They, well, actually with Colombia. So they'll be ready to move into Colombia in the near future. That's done. So there we go. Have them set up to advance when possible. And we have so much ground, so much so many places we have to defend and try to push into in the future. We have so many factories also. Make more guns, make more naval bombers, also make a lot of close air support. We have close air support too, we might as well start taking advantage of that. Build more support equipment and artillery, get more guns also manufactured. That's done. We have plenty of steel at this point, also tons of naval dockyards. I guess build tons of improved light ship hulls. Just, yeah, tons of destroyers. That's what we're going to do. Let's also maybe build some submarines or no cruisers, possibly. Create a variant of ship here to cruiser hull. 
go to modules. I don't really know what's a good template for these guys. I just build destroyers for now. I'm not too good with the naval designer for Hoi 4. Let's keep building some ships. That's done. And so let's unpause now. We still have tons of naval dockyards. We have the task to do something. I guess build more convoys. I don't know. We have some, we almost have a thousand convoys, but let's just get some more of them put together. Build more destroyers. We have some divisions that are like in exile somehow. Build more destroyers again. And we're going to have tons of naval bombers to help out these destroyers, even though... So that will make it for their, how to say, their light armament. And we're... Oh, okay, the... Okay, the... Exiled divisions are out of the place they're in. They're no longer exiled, per se. Move these all these planes to France. Move them up there. Move them to all these air bases. That'll be done. We've got support weapons for done. And that's some more garrison troops for the 4th Army. There they go. And now let's start researching something else. Let's research maybe get improved artillery upgrade 2. And let's also start giving some artillery to our military forces, our divisions we use a lot in combat. So let's go to our infantry division, give them engineer company and support artillery. We will need a lot of support equipment and artillery for our 400... And 14 divisions at this time. That's going to be a lot of support equipment and artillery, isn't it? It is, yes. Tons of it. Build more, get more support equipment gathered up and manufactured. Put more factories on that when possible and start trading with the German Empire for some supplies. Get rid of this trade deal with Greece because we no longer need any imports of aluminum. We have tons of places now that have aluminum. Well, we control a lot of places that have aluminum aluminum evidently so there's some more garrison troops develop new form of art is nearly done now let's do muslimization muslimization of france we have liberated france from the reds but our work does not stop here we must show the people of france the truest faith and make them adopt it by showing them the light and destroying their vulgar pagan idols so says this focus that's what it's saying and it says besides all that God and the Prophet are most certainly proud of us. And from this focus, we will get the national spirit, a Muslim France, once it is complete. And what that national spirit will do, that national spirit will give us higher division attack on core territory, higher division defense on core territory, and higher division attack in general at the price of stability. And we have cores on every state in the world, so you can only imagine how powerful that is. And keep getting more divisions here. Give them to the to the 11th Army for now, which is going to have another army made from it very soon. They're just sort of being used as like a reserve force, I guess. And there we are. Can we get any new commanders here for the 13th Army? We cannot. We need more command power for that. Oh well. And the Kingdom of Canada declared war on England, and this means the Reichs Pact will now be fighting against the Third Weltkrieg. Yeah, the Reich's Pact will now be fine against the Entente. That is what's going to happen there. Infantry Equipment 3 is researched. Get some more infantry divisions assembled here. Oh, those are garrison troops. Whatever. Dutch, well, German East Asia capitulated for some reason to mobilize our economy. Sure, I don't care. We demobilized our economy. Now let's start making some more modern firearms, I guess. We were making MP28s, but those aren't up to date anymore. So here we are. We still have tons of steel. Albania was capitulated. Who are they fighting? Oh, wait. The Mediterranean Axis, which is the Italian Federation, Bulgaria, Romania, and the Fall of Havana. I don't know what happened with Cuba there. The Fall of Havana. Who is fighting Cuba? Are they part of the Entente or the Reichs Pact? I don't know. But the Italian Federation, which is a member of the Mediterranean Axis, they have Bulgaria, Romania, Albania. They are fighting against the... Sarajevo, Sarajevo Accords, which consist of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, as well as the Ottoman Empire, and all of its puppets in the Middle East. And here's some more divisions for us. Give them to the garrison force, because that's what they are. There we go. And they're going to be sent off to some place in the world. Let's research infantry anti-tank one. That's going to give our units more, more, how to say, more hard attack and higher piercing stats for our infantry. More divisions have been trained. Give them to the 11th Army. And let's actually splinter off a force from the 11th Army here now. Get that done. That's going to be... Yeah, we can get this done here. 
That's going to be done for these troops. They're going to be the 14th Army. Give them a color. Pink, or whatever, whatever, whatever that color is. They'll have it. And so a few more divisions here. There we are. And I think this will leave the 11th Army with nearly two, just two divisions. So let's take this force here to 14th Army. Peace conference is over. Something happened there. Japan took a lot of territory, obviously. So the Dutch East Indies was annexed. German East Asia was annexed. Burma was annexed. And that's over in the Far East for the Reichspact. They lost some members of their faction. But let's have this, this, what is it, this group, this 14th Army, watch the border we have with the Peruvian, the Peru-Bolivian Confederation. That's what their objective is for now. They're, well, that's where they're going to be. Here's some more garrison troops. Now let's do the focus. Le Grand Triade. Triade? Unfortunately, not everyone in France knows the thoughts of Gunon. We must educate them. Copies of Le Grand Triade, which I guess is a book of the philosopher. There are books that were written by Rene Gunon, the philosopher slash intellectual, whatever. And so these books, these copies of Le Grand Triode, must be distributed in mass to the people, and study sessions of Gunon's work must be set up as soon as possible to instruct these, quote, lost souls. And from this focus, once it is done, we will get three research slots and tons of political power and 1951 political power to be exact we already at we already are at max political power nearly so it's not going to matter too much and i wonder why 1951 i wonder if it's, if it's the date Rene Gunan died the year he died i don't know i think there was a focus earlier in the tree that gave us like 18,000 no 1800 some political power which i believe is 1886 yeah which might be the date that Rene Gunan was born Maybe. I'm not sure. Research slot available. Let's get advanced artillery. And that will be ready in 100 days. Now, we're not getting as much oil from Flanders Wallonia. Whatever. We don't even need oil from them anymore. We don't need fuel. Because they're probably using it for a war at this point. Whatever. And how are these divisions doing here? More garrison troops. Alright. They'll go... They'll, they'll be sent off somewhere. They'll be sent off somewhere, that's for sure. And are any of them in South America at all? Yes, some of them are. They are in Argentina and Chile. And also a few of them have arrived in Venezuela. They're in the Caribbean islands here, like Jamaica. Yeah, that's good for us. And that's nice. So we have some more planes available in our reserves. Let's maybe establish some more air wings for our, for our air force. Tons of naval bombers. We don't really need them right now. We already have like 400 of them. Here's some more fighters though. Get some of them put together. More close air support maybe. Close air support would be nice to have around. Just get all the close air support we have and make a hundred or so fighters. I mean, one squadron of a hundred close air support planes. And that's nearly complete. I'm trying to use all these other planes we have in storage. We got from the Third International when they capitulated. There we go. That's another close air support wing for the esoteric realm of the true France. And doctrines available. Let's do battle fleet, battle fleet concentration, not battle fleet. What am I saying? Okay, that's done now. And I wonder how the war is going for the Entente and the Reich's Pact. It looks like there's some kind of landing in Ireland who is a member of the Entente. Yeah, it looks like they're facing... Okay, that happened in the USA. The American Union state is out of the Second American Civil War now. The fall of Rome. I guess the Austrians are in Rome. Or somebody landed in Rome. Who was that? The Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire landed in Rome. I'm sure the Vatican is shocked by that. But anyway, Ireland is being naval invaded pretty bad right now. They're having to face multiple naval invasions from the members of the Reich's Pact that will probably soon be in Dublin. And we just finished that focus, Le Grand Triode, whatever. And now let's do the Sultan of the World. We cannot stop at France or Spain. Gunan Stalt is much more uni universal. Soon the whole world and humanity will be free thanks to our master. Abdul Rahad Yahia Yahia will address will address the people of the whole world tonight on the Champs El Sais, declaring himself Sultan of the whole world and declaring war to anyone who dares to oppose us. We shall triumph. And so, once that focus is done, we'll go to war. And if you're wondering what that name means, Abdul Wahud Yahia, whatever, that is the I think the Arabic name. Rene Gunan adopted at some point in his life, in real life, and that's what that refers to. 
And with all that taking place, I'm going to end part 15 of my Rene Gonan Morocco playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.